this video, we are going to take a look at installing and testing Node.js or Node Package Manager on a Mac using Homebrew. There are basically two ways to install Node.js or Node Package Manager. One is directly downloading Node.js package, mounting it and installing from the website itself. So that is, you can just open your browser and then go to Node.js website. You can see here, you can just open Node.js here and directly you can go to the downloads and here you can just click on Mac installer where it is going to download that particular package. So once I have that, you know, you can just go through this one to actually install the Node.js or Node Package Manager on your machine. But our concentration is not really on using the Node.js website. In this video, what we are going to see really is on how to install and work with Homebrew Package Manager and at the same time on how to install Node.js or Node Package Manager using Homebrew. So I'm going to skip this one. So let me remove these two. Before even thinking about Homebrew Package Manager, we need to have the Xcode and command line tools of the Xcode to be installed. So in my case, I already have Xcode installed. So if you'd like to check whether Xcode is already installed on your machine or not, you just need to execute this command at your terminal. So you need to say Xcode select dash P, which essentially gives you this particular path if your Xcode is already installed on your Mac. So if you do not have Xcode installed, just open your App Store and try to search for Xcode right there. So in this search, you can just go with Xcode. And once you search for that, you are going to see Xcode right here. You just, uh, you will have the button like download here. So once you have our get, so once you get it or download it, you are going to have Xcode to be installed on your machine successfully. Once you have Xcode installed, we need to have Xcode related command tools to be installed, command line tools. So in order to test or check if those are already available, the easiest way is to reinstall the same command line tools using the terminal window. So once your Xcode has been installed, you have to say Xcode dash select double dash install so this is the command which actually installs command line tools of Xcode on your Mac so once I press that in my case I already have it installed so that was the reason I get this error saying that command line tools are already installed so if you do not have the command line tools installed this automatically installs all the command line tools necessary for your Mac using the Xcode related framework and from then onwards you will be able to go with homebrew and at the same time work with Xcode uh, related command line tools. Okay, so imagine that you have Xcode and at the same time command line tools of Xcode installed on your machine. Now we are going to see on how to install homebrew. So let's open our browser. Just type in homebrew so we are going to see homebrew the missing package manager of Mac OS. So this is the first one which we are going to hit at it. And you can see there is a command right here. So just copy this command. Go to your terminal and just paste it. And just press enter. That actually makes sure that Homebrew is installed on your machine. So it will be asking for a couple of confirmations here. You can see press return, so just press enter. And at the same time, in, the, in my case, it is asking for the password, that is the administrator password. So just provide the administrator password here. So let's give it a moment to install. Okay, once you have brew installed, you can just clear 
and double check if it is installed by going through the command brew dash v which essentially shows you the version of the home brew which has been installed in your machine so in this case it is home 105 and that is the version we have got and now the next thing is to install node.js on your machine so the easiest way is you can search the existing libraries of the brew by going with brew search and provide whatever the package name you would like to search so in this case I can provide node if you don't provide any it is going to give you all the currently packages currently available packages for installing using brew so if you take a list here you are going to see node somewhere so let me search for node here quickly and let us go further so there you go so you should be having node right here so this is where it says that it has got the package called node where you can install it so the other way is you can quickly search using brew search node so which essentially gives you all the node related packages or all the package names having node as part of their names okay just cancel it so let me clear so now I need to install node I go to brew and I'm asking brew to install the package called node so this is the only command you require in order to have node.js along with node package manager to be installed on your Mac so just press enter if you do not have node or if you would like to check whether node is installed or not you can just say node v and right now you can see there is node node installed similarly you can also test whether node package manager is available in your machine or not by just typing npm dash v and you can see i don't have node and node p i mean npm on my machine at the moment so i'm going to go ahead with brew install node and press enter okay so we are done so we have node and node package manager or npm in simple already installed on your machine so let me clear and test it npm dash v so you should be able to see the version of npm and whenever I say node dash v you are going to see node also on your machine installed okay so in order to test node the simple way is to actually write from write some JavaScript and execute using node so for that purpose you can use any of the text editors you may be comfortable with like sublime or webstorm if you have license or you can also use visual studio code so in my case I just wanted to use a very simple text editor called text wrangler so let me have a couple of variables here to be declared something like a equal to 10 and b equal to 20 and I would like to have a console.log provide sum I mean I would like to have the sum of a and b to be displayed and this is the JavaScript which I would like to save so I go to file and I'm going to save it in a particular app so right now I do not have that folder so let me create that folder so I go to the, uh, my path so in this case I would like to create right here so let us consider I would like to create apps and inside apps I would like to have another new folder called my app to be created so or in this case app 01 whatever you would like to call it as so I'm inside this so let me jump into this particular folder so before even saving this file I need to have that app 01 folder to be actually uh, what I say initiated with node so I need to have the installation of node on that particular folder so in order to achieve that I need to go to into that folder I'm going to say CD apps and inside that I'm going to say app 01 so right now I am on app 01 so which is nothing but this guy and I need to have this particular app 01 folder to be converted to a node application so which means I need to initiate the node package manager I mean in a node package manager 
in order to have this application or this folder to be turned to a node application. So for that I need to use npm init as the command right inside the folder called app01. So just press enter and now it is going to ask me on all the details of my particular application. So in this case the default value is app01 for the name so I just press enter and what is the version of my application? 1. Any description if you would like to say. Just In this case I just keep on pressing enter so that it takes all the defaults. So you can provide much more information if you really need to have a beautiful application to be developed using Node.js. So in this case as it is a demonstration I just kept on pressing uh, enter in order to take all the defaults and finally it is asking for the confirmation I press yes again and now you can see it has actually created package.json so this is important every particular node.js application in general is supposed to have package.json which includes all the dependency related files and also explains what exactly is your application as well so you can still open that with your text wrangler and see what's going on you can see this actually includes the exact details what you have provided while you are trying to convert your folder as a node application okay so let me close this or Okay, so now I have my Node.js related JavaScript. I need to save this. So I go to File and Save. And while I'm saving this, I really want that one to be saved right inside my App01 folder. So I go to App01 folder and click Save. Okay, I should have saved in a different name with a different name here. Let me save as once again. I save as I should have saved with the extension JavaScript file so that was my mistake so let me go in here and in this case I am going to say sample.js so just press save here okay now once it has turned to JavaScript file it knows that it needs all kinds of highlighting to be done just for our uh, better readability so let me minimize this and let me remove this guy we don't need this and you have sample.js right here. So in order to check whether node is currently working on our machine or not, all you have to do is just execute this sample.js. The simplest way, use the node command and then provide the name of your JavaScript file available. So the moment I press this, you can see you have some to be automatically calculated based on whatever the script you already have as part of your sample.js. So in this case I'm just adding 10 and 20 to be displayed as part of console.log. So in that way you can have Node.js and Node Package Manager to be installed using Homebrew and test using a very simple JavaScript file.